Hello and welcome back to the Arn and Carlos channel. Um, last week we were talking about tension and uh, we're going to continue talking about that. Uh, we were just showing the basics of this, but this week we want to talk about tension when you're working on two colors, which is also something very useful to know. Um, and a short recap of what we were saying the last time is that um, you basically uh, don't think about the tension too much. When you knit the Norwegian way, there is no distance uh, from your from your index finger um, onto the needle. And so you have one thing less to think about. And as you remember, we said that if you are a loose knitter, then you rather change the size of the needle and go down a size. And if you're a tight needle, you go up a size. This way you have one thing less to think about <laughs> and you can focus more on your knitting. So this week there's not going to be a tutorial a pattern on our website either, but we have loads of other patterns for other things that you can download if you want. So let's okay. talk about two color tension on it. Yeah, and we're knitting from this old book because this pattern is good for this, this project. Yeah, this and book. this is one of our favorite books uh, to knit from. It's, um, it's a, something that was published here in Norway in the 40s. It's called Norwegian Knitting Patterns. It's Norske Strikkemønster in Norwegian. And it's just this lovely little old book that has different kinds of charts with traditional Norwegian patterns. And we just love it yeah. so much. So we use it a lot in our design work. Then I will show you how to knit with two colors. The color I use the most is always on the finger. And the other color I pick up when I need it. So now I'm going to do two red stitches. So then I just pick it up and I knit one red. And another red. So when I do this, I, I knit like the English one. I can show you one more. So I just keep the yarn on this side and I pick it up when I need it. Then you can also pull the yarn and you can control your tension because you want all the stitches in your knitting to look the same. Then I let, when I go to the grey, I let the red yarn just be hanging there. And then I knit the two grey from my finger. Now you can also Put the red yarn on the finger and knit from the finger while you knit with the red yarn. Then you can throw the grey when you need it or you can put it back on your finger. So when we knit the Norwegian way the yarn is always going from the finger and mm away from the finger. You can just do whatever you want, what, what feel, feels best for you. Sometimes it's quicker to have the yarn on the finger and sometimes not. So like in, now, now I pick up the red and I cast it on like the English way. And then I keep the yarn on this, on the right, right side. And then I pick from the left side like this. And then when you knit with two colors you should be careful not to pull the colors too much because then you won't, won't look good. So be careful when you put the yarn on the needle that you have a nice distance in between the stitches so just pull your knitting every now and then and see that it's nice. If you knit uh, like uh, a piece of knit with two colors and another piece with one color and you don't have the same tension, the part with two colors will be more, will be tighter. Mm. And that can be a problem. So, you can go back on the finger with the red. And when I need the grey, the grey go on the finger and you knit the grey. So the, the colors can actually change place. Makes no difference. 
And in Norwegian knitting, we don't have what they call the dominant color. Because if we get the dominant color in the knit knitting, then the tension is bad. Mm -hmm. That's how we that's do it. it. That's how we do the Norwegian knitting with two colors, and that's how we tension the the, the yarn. Yeah. So. Um, and all the stitches in every color should look the same. Yeah. So okay. Please, please uh, practice. So, yes. <laughs> now it's time to practice and make sure that uh, you learn to do it this way. And I'm sure that you'll get a lot of, we're sure that you'll get a lot of enjoyment out of this. So um, if you're new to this channel, please don't forget to subscribe. And uh, we look forward to bringing new tutorials uh, to you every week. And then we show you how to solve another problem next time. Yep, yep. we will. Bye. Bye.